Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Ghost, and I'm going to teach you guys how to install the Minecraft mod pack known as Project Ozone. Now, if you don't know what this is, uh, it's a mod pack with the ability to do Skyblock in it. So, let's get started. First things first, you're going to have to come to the Curse Voice Beta web page. It'll be in the description, so you can click along and follow. Next, you're going to hit Download on here and it's gonna give you a client setup thing now since my internet's slow I'm not gonna show you the installer but you go through the installer and you install the client and that's pretty much all you're gonna do now you're gonna pause the video here cuz in a brief moment will be a little bit ahead when we have it installed. Alright, now that you have this game installed, or this launcher installed, it's oh, th this launcher installed, it's gonna prompt you to log into your curse account. So I'm already logged in. As you can see, this is my original curse account. But once you log in, you'll have the home and then you have a Minecraft tab. You'll go to the Minecraft tab, and as you see, I already have Project Ozone installed. But the best way to do an install is you hit Browse Mod Packs and you just type in Project Ozone. I can't spell, but there it is Project Ozone. Now, Instead of play, it'll say install here. You just hit in install and it'll install the pack. And once you have the pack installed, of course, you're going to hit play from right here. Now you're going to pause it again because it's got time and needs time to download. And we'll see you when we launch the Minecraft. Alright, so you've done the installation of Project Ozone and now we're you're you're initializing Minecraft and you need to sign in of course to your Minecraft account and now that we have our Project Ozone installed and you're on this page if you're if you want to play a skyblock this is the best way to do it you hit single player create and then here's a new world you hit more options and then you scroll over on the world types until you get to the garden of glass now this is essential if you want to generate a world for skyblock because obviously you want to play skyblock with it and this is the best way to do it because garden of glass generates a skyblock world now I already have one of these so I'm gonna initialize the world I do have and we'll see what it looks like Alright, so here here's your beautiful skyblock world. You get a you get one torch, there's some stuff down there. Stuff like that. This is the world that you generate every time that you do the garden of glass. And some of the stuff we have in here is we have the uh, open blocks book, the materials in you, the botania book right here the encyclopedia aurora your quest book for hqm i have two and i don't know why but i do you have a diamond you have a torch and you have a sapling or two so you can start out now if you don't know what hqm is of course you click start here now so when you spawn into this you already have a diamond so you do show quests and then complete and then you open this up and yeah here's here's your quest and stuff right here now because we did we got a diamond off the bat we can claim this one so I'm gonna pick that claim it so 
this this is how you start off in it. Of course, I'm gonna go in more depth and detail later on when we get things rolling, and that'll be in the next episode.